Okay, everybody, welcome. Today is February the 29th, 2024. So it's going to be the last trading day of the month. And what does that mean? I'm going to be looking at Kula Maggi style um, setup candidates for the month of March 2024. So technically, I should have waited until today's you know price action is over uh, today's session is over but i won't have time to record tomorrow so i'm just going to do it today um this will not really impact um you know any of the results here we are going to identify um the stocks that have been going up over the last month the strongest and then also over the last quarter the strongest and yes yeah, sometimes um you know there might be one occasion or one single ticker that might still have a big move today but it's quite unlikely right and at the end of the day it all has to you know like um, be seen in the context of an overall months or quarterly performance so we don't need to expect any any changes there in 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 the ticker list really just based on one day missing so to say okay so let's take a look back uh, at last month when i recorded this and you can see here we had um, a list with the top performance over one month that was super short. So we had the infamous SMCI, which has been a stock on steroids, um, a typical, you know, like growth stock um, that went from two digits uh, to over a thousand. Uh, a lot of retail traders flocked into this thing because they all read William O'Neill and, you know, what else. Um, watch Kula Maggie and, and whatnot. And there's nothing wrong with it. This is a typical example for for a stock that just starts, you know, breaking out after a longer consolidation right around here. And it never looks back, right? It goes straight up. And that is essentially, you know, the the stocks that dreams are made out of, right? Those those are the stocks you can read about in the textbooks, so to say. And this is one of the few that I've seen ever since the end of 2021 that has been performing like this, uh, matching certain parameters like a you know, certain market cap and, and so on. So not super small nano stuff or, or whatever, or micro, micro cap stocks or whatever, but something of more substantial market cap. And this is what it is. So I, I you know, read about a guy who bought call options at a thousand i think and then he started praying to the market gods after this this drop here back down to under 700 that please they might help him out of the position well i hope it worked out for them <laughs> but you know if if you buy um call options when this thing hits a thousand in in a move that looks fairly parabolic, you need to have your head examined. So it's just, you know, this is how people lose a fortune and lose their livelihoods by doing these ridiculously stupid things. Anyways, so last month, SMCI, and then this is Oscar Health, and then this is the absolute high flyer, Viking Therapeutics, um, with some news that, you know, their drugs are very, you know, competitive with, you know, another drug company, I, I only glanced over it. The, the fundamentals don't really matter that much. And this is obviously um, the big winner of, um, of the month. And that's where it is at. So only three of them we had last month. So let's just clean the list. Then let's take a look at um, the quarterly ones. We only had 28. Um, for the quarter that we identified last time. And this is still sort of, you know, charming to pick the ones that had 50%. We should actually be having a much higher number, right? It should be like 70, 80%, maybe 100%. Um, but it is what it is. So these were the names. And I keep mentioning this every time. These are old names, right? There's no new generation of stocks. But that was last time, so let's see what we get this time. So let's just remember that we had 28 here and three in the one month top performer. So let's clear the list. And let's go back to one month. And I already 
sorted them here monthly performance so obviously viking is uh, the one that went crazy and now we're going to collect everything that's more than 25 percent in a month and that's it we're just gonna have to cut off here with tell education group some chinese company i believe that is add that to the watch list there's our watch list how many do we have 35 so that's a solid number and now we're going to do the same thing right away with the uh, three month top performers and since we already have quite a number on the monthlies i'm going to be a bit more stringent now uh, should i oh my it's not really worth it let's just let's just pick 50 percent again that's fine I'll go to the other list and put them in there how many do we have 32 so 35 now in the one month top performers that's obviously tenfold than what we saw last month where we only had three of them and the top performers over a quarter they have um basically not really changed right so we had these 28 earlier on and now we have 32 so which also means the number's not really going up right let's take a look at the tickers that we have here so this is still sorted by the best performing ones and you know yes there's a therapeutics company there's another biotech company this is a bitcoin stock first i thought it was literally it's called clean spark right i was really thinking about this is a dry cleaning business but i'm just kidding no it's not so this is also a bitcoin thing biotech we know MicroStrategy from way back when. We just zoom out. See, this is where they had um, pretty high levels, and they're coming back to them. I'm just going to use a line chart here, right? Coming back to these levels. Arm Holdings, that's a pretty new one, right? So, along with um, SMCI, one of the few names that are new. Kavana, we know. Mara, also Bitcoin, we know. There's SMCI. How can you buy calls here? Yeah, Beam, it's an older name. Therapeutics as well. Coinbase, we know that one. Vera is another therapeutics company. And you see, if, if I strip out all those biotech and pharma names, the list is going to be much shorter, right? I can't remember what Visio is. Hims and her health. Okay. Robin Hood, Palantir, Confluence, those were the guys um, who packaged the vaccines back in the day. Since then, they are basically dead, but still performing well for, you know, dead cat bounces, kind of, right? Just consolidating. There's a manufacturing company. I don't know exactly what they do. Another therapeutics company. More of that. More of that. This is something else. Yeah, I, I saw that in the past at some point. You, have to, you can look it up, what it is. There's another immune pharma slash biotech. This is Bitcoin, right? Right, we know, right. JFrog, I don't know. I have to look up what that is. Next tracker. This is also a fairly new one. More therapeutics. Seems to be some auctions company here. But had better days, right? They went IPO at the end of um, the bull market, basically. There's more pharma, app loving software, health beauty, Celsius, is a known name, toast. I think that is also. No, it's not biotech. It would be Twist. I think Toast is also a software company. There's Oscar Health. Then finally, there's this Chinese education group thing, you know, which got completely smothered here when the Chinese government said, yeah, we have to get rid of those or whatever. <laughs> it's just crazy, right? So you take the money from the West and then you just drop it. That's, that's the Chinese way of doing it. Anyways, so there was the top performers over a month. So there are three or so like ARM, um, SMCI and then one of the other ones that we had seen um, you know that are that are out there 
for new names. And then here is the top performers over last quarter. The names will not differ that much, right? The names are almost the same. See, this is the twist bioscience thing, right? The other one is toast. Him, hims, what is that called? His and hers, or what is it called? It's right here. Hims and hers, health, okay. Beam, right? So all these names, they kind of repeat in here. There's, there's nothing much else to say about it, right? But it seems that, you know, we, we are dealing with, I should just call it a healthy number of stocks that is performing well, uh, maybe. So we are not really um, in, in the droughts anymore that, that we saw end of October. But back then it was coupled with the market being at a low, um, you know, and that was really the sign to get into the market. And ever since early November, the market has rallied really, really hard, right? Yes, November. Right? At this point here, we didn't have any performers, right? We basically had an almost empty list. So this was a very good indication. And I also think the market sentiment wasn't the best then, right? And then it started going up again, right? So putting these things together is, is important to get a, a sentiment out of it, right? Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.